This is Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to present this interesting case of uh, open posterior capsule that occurred with a planned placement of a symphony toric lens implant. The case began uneventfully with fake emulsification and irrigation and aspiration. As we polish the posterior capsule, you will see the formation of a small striation which represents adhesion between the silicone tip irrigation and aspiration instrument and the posterior capsule. The posterior capsule then ruptures. And then we fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic and perform a posterior capsulorexis using utrata forceps. The anterior chamber is very stable due to the presence of viscoelastic. And once we have a posterior capsulorexis, we can then continue with planned placement of a symphony toric lens into the capsular bag. There's a small strand of vitreous that we try to trim with MST micro scissors. However, in the process, we barely nick the anterior capsule, which you'll see here. That small nick in the anterior capsular rim will become an issue as we place the lens into the capsular bag and try to dial it into the capsular bag. You'll see that that small nick extends within the anterior capsule and makes the case more difficult. We use a Epsilon titanium chopper and a cyclodialysis spatula to rotate the lens into the capsular bag. At this point, the optic is within the capsular leaflets. And then finally, we rotate the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. For this case, we were trying to avoid using an anterior vitrectomy. We rotated the lens and everything looked almost perfect, but the lens did not quite center exactly as we wanted it to look after surgery. Therefore, we elected to use an anterior vitrector. We used a bimanual technique where I place the infusion through one incision and the vitrector port through a second incision. The lens implant is currently in proper alignment, but the optic on the screen left is not quite perfectly positioned within the capsular bag. So we place some Helon GV viscoelastic to stabilize the anterior chamber and then we use a cyclodialysis spatula to gently reposition the anterior capsule leaflet over the optic to ensure that the optic is completely encapsulated within the bag and that it is perfectly centered and aligned. To remove the viscoelastic, we use ballot salt solution to just irrigate the Helon GV out, I elected not to use a vitrector or an irrigation and aspiration instrument, feeling that that would possibly move the lens out of position. The case concluded with the perfectly aligned implant. The patient saw beautifully the day after, and this view of the patient on post-op day five shows a perfectly centered implant. The patient was 20-20, J2, and the case turned out beautifully. The patient was very happy with their far and near vision. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a wonderful day.